Hi friends, welcome back. So today I am going to be sharing with you a pattern review. It's been so long since I did a pattern review. I'm so excited to be doing a pattern review today. It seems like forever since I've actually been able to share with you garments that I have been making. I have been behind the scenes sewing things. I just have not had the chance to actually um, give reviews in video format so that you guys can actually benefit from them too. So I'm really excited to be sharing with you a video today. And it is of this beautiful blouse that I am wearing. It is called the uh, Blouse by the Abbott Seamstress. And uh, just so that you all know, I was sponsored the fabric for this and also the pattern. So Minerva, was so gracious to sponsor me this fabric, this beautiful, beautiful fabric. And I'll make sure that I go ahead and put a link in the description box below so you could go over and look at more about the details of this fabric, the description, and um, you know, in terms of like the width and all of that good stuff and the price. So I will say from the outset, this is a lovely fabric. I washed it uh, twice and it has kept its color retention. And so I absolutely love, love, love the fabric. So while I'm talking about the fabric, I'll go ahead and give a, fab uh, a review of the fabric and then I'll give a review of the actual pattern. So in terms of the, the fabric, it sewed really well. Um, Minerva sent me uh, needles. So in the kit, so let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> So Minerva sponsored me this kit. So the fabric and the pattern came into this kit. And within the kit, Minerva also sent me all the notions that I would need to make the pattern. So inside this kit, I had um, buttons as well as elastic and also needle and thread. And so the needles that were provided for me were perfect, 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 the perfect size for this fabric. So um, absolutely love the way in which it sewed. I absolutely love the fact that it retained its color. Um, again, you're not going to really see, especially with uh, good quality fabrics, you will not see the breakdown of uh, the a color of a fabric for some time. And so I had expected that this was going to retain its color because Minerva usually have really great fabrics that have really great co uh, color retention. And so I don't expect that this will break down in color anytime soon. Uh, however, I always like to give that report at the first beginning of the video so that you all know how well it washed when on the first and second wash. So it did wash really well and I absolutely love this. So let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, fab, uh, the pattern here. So the pattern, as I mentioned before, is by the Avid Seamstress. And so this is the booklet that comes with the pattern. Um, and again, this was sponsored to me by Minerva. So I did not pay for this or the fabric. So I'm just doing the review of the fabric as well as the, um, the, uh, pattern as well. So this is a really easy, easy, I mean, super easy uh, pattern. Now, it is easy for someone who has experience working with buttonholes as well as, um, you know, doing collars and things of that nature. If you're not in that stage, if you're just a beginner who is still like sewing uh, just two piece uh, skirts and pants or something like that, um, then this may not be for you. But in terms of like uh, those individuals who are sewing with buttons, buttonholes, this is so simple, so, so easy. You have four pattern pieces. That's it, four pattern pieces. You have your front, your back, your sleeve, and your collar band. Such an easy pattern. Um, now, I will say this about the pattern. You do not get like a button placket and you don't get a guide for where you're placing the buttons. The only guide that they have um, is on the pattern itself and they have little X's going down the pattern to indicate where the, the line for the uh, button hole is going to start. But other than that, you don't have much of a guide for buttons. I created my own guide after I sewed my pattern, after I sewed my garment together, I decided to use my button gauge and to place 
the uh, button holes in the area where it's going to be favorable for my bust. I am a D cup. And so I wanted to make sure I had some good coverage in that area. And so I positioned my button holes based on my body size. You might want to do the same. Um, I, I find that when you are short or tall or in, taller than the, um, the measurements that the pattern was designed for, you may need to reposition your buttons. And so that's why I repositioned my buttons. I did not have to shorten my garment at all. So I didn't have to shorten the um, garment at the short and lengthen line. And so what you see in terms of the length of the garment, it is true to size out of the, just right out of the envelope. And so that's what I did. So in terms of sizes, this, um, pattern go in sizes like zero, one, two, three, four. And based on those numbers, um, they have, uh, measurements in centimeters as well as inches that correspond to each one of those numbers. So I selected the size, um, five, I believe, which is 42 and a half for the bust, I believe. No, a size six. Four. I'll put the measurements here because I don't have the booklet don't I thought that the booklet included that information but it does not yeah I'm looking through the booklet and it does not include the finished garment measurements in the booklet so it has to be in the um on the back of the of the cover of the pattern and so I'll put that here so you can see what it looks like but that size I think fit um, so initially I chose the size four when I did my, uh, mock-up for it. And I'm so glad I did a mock-up because I found through the mock-up phase that, um, you probably would have to do a bicep, uh, um, not bicep, I'm sorry, a bust adjustment, a full bust adjustment. If you are a C or a D cup or a double D or whatever, you will need to do a bust adjustment. Um, instead of doing a bust adjustment for the f size four that I would normally choose based on my waist and the sleeve pattern, I decided to just go up a size. So I went up to the size five and that provided enough room in my bust area that the garment just lay a little bit more looser and I didn't have to worry about um, it pulling or anything like that. And so I just went up a size instead of doing a full bust adjustment. Now I will say this also, um, because I went up a size, I have more room in my waist and also in the back um, for the pattern piece. And so if you don't, if you want it to be more semi fit it, not fit it, but semi close, semi fit it. Um, you might want to just go ahead and do that bust adjustment instead of going up a size. For me, I felt like it wasn't going to be too much of a difference in this, in the side. And so I decided to just go ahead and go up to that next size. Uh, the pattern comes with a three quarter length sleeve. And at the edge of that three quarter length sleeve, you are, um, instructed to put elastic on the lower edge of the sleeve. I omitted the elastic because, um, so I had to do a bicep adjustment and that bicep adjustment was two inches and that was for the size five. And I found that that, um, size five bicep adjustment still was not cutting it. So I'm already at, you know, two inches. Right. And so I'm like, Oh my goodness, I don't want to go. So when you're doing bicep adjustments, you don't want to go too much over two inches when you're doing your bicep adjustment because your sleeve can start twisting and you can have other problems with other areas of your sleeve. And so I decided to expand the width of the pattern, but that um, required me to add some gathering on the top of the shoulder line. So this pattern is not bicep friendly. Um, and I'll give you an indication. Um, my bicep, it measures around 15, 15 and a half. And I had to do a two inch bicep adjustment on the sleeve pattern that fit the size of my bust and my waist. And so and I still had to go up at least another inch 
um, which would have been a three inch bicep adjustment. But because I didn't want to do more than a two inch bicep adjustment, I just expanded the width of the sleeve and included gathers in the top of the shoulder there. So um, I will say again, make sure you me measure your bicep, measure the pattern and see if that measurement fits um, also your bust and your waist adjustment, because if it doesn't, you might have to expand your sleeve, uh, because doing a three, four inch bicep adjustment is insane. And it's just, it, it, it would not work well. You'll have a lot of twisting on your sleeve. It just, um, it'll, it, it'll create problems with the shoulder head. And so you don't want to mess with, uh, the pattern too much. So that's why I, I put the gathers on the shoulder head to prevent the sleeve from twisting and things of that nature. Um, going back to the lower part of the sleeve and putting elastic in the sleeve, um, even when I expanded the pattern, uh, it's just not that much in terms of, let's see if I can show you here. It's just not that much in terms of the width here, like gathering that much in for elastic it's just it's just not that much and so i decided to just leave it because it it's not enough fabric to actually do um a gathering a gathering at the lower edge with uh elastic and so i just decided to just leave it like that the other pattern piece you have is of the collar up here on the neckline and so really nice collar but Again, I had to expand the collar a little bit because you see it's overlapping um, here, but it wasn't overlapping uh, before I did my adjustment. So I had to adjust that and I had to expand that by a half an inch on each side. So a total of an inch, I had to make it an inch longer in order for it to overlap and to actually um, go around my neckline. But as you can see, it overlaps, but not enough to put a button there. Now I can put a snap there, but it's not enough of an overlap to put a button there. So I just left it like that and it's, it's totally fine with me. I like it the way that it is and it's very nice. I really do like it. Now, I will say this, you, again, you don't have a button placket. I do like that you don't have a button placket because you don't have to worry about, you know, all the top stitching and all that other stuff. Although the pattern does call for top stitching, I decided not to do that. Um, Minerva gifted me these, um, the buttons that they gifted me was like more of a grayish button. But I thought since I have hints of purple inside of the gar inside the fabric I decided to do these purple buttons here which I think complements it a little bit more so I do like the way that this turned out I love the top it is very comfortable very loose fitting um I think I would like this more as a dress especially because of the type of fabric that it is and so if I were to purchase more of this fabric I would definitely make a dress out of it because I think um it just would look more elegant as a as a dress i think it will look a little bit better as a dress now in terms of the patterns instructions i think it, they are very straightforward so you have 23 pages and it basically start out by giving you um, some key information about the pattern it talks about how um, what you need to do before you cut your fabric like washing your fabric prepping your fabric and things of that nature it gives you the outline and the layout plan for your pattern pieces uh you also have with the the main um the body of the garment and the information uh to construct the the pattern together it gives you information on how to do the front and bodice uh button stand it also um, gives you information about the side seams the shoulder seams the sleeves the collar and also the hem and buttonholes and it just goes from from each step telling you what you need to do at each step 
how you need to apply the interfacing along the front line and all of that stuff. So really great detailed instructions. I don't think that you would want for anything. If you are a beginner and you want to sew this and you are dipping your toe into um, starting with uh, sewing buttons, this would definitely be a project that I would encourage people to sew for the first time if you are doing buttonholes because it's very simple and straightforward and it gives you very great details on how to um, achieve um, a really great polished look at the end. You'll have a really nice polished garment because it has really great, great instructions. So I did enjoy this particular project it was simple easy to sew love the fabric love that i have a new top and i want to thank minerva for reaching out and also providing me this kit the sponsored kit so that i can actually sh uh, sew this up and share it with you all all right let me know in the comment section below if you've ever sewn this pattern before or if you intend on sewing this pattern i definitely would give this pattern a nine out of ten i think it's a great pattern to sew and a great pattern for beginners to start with if they are looking to um uh increase their skill set and sew with button buttons like i said before it will be a great pattern for uh introducing buttons um and buttonholes so Really, really love it. And let me know in the comment section below if you've sewn this pattern before or if you have this fabric or if you intend to purchase this fabric. All right, let me uh, go ahead and go and I will talk to you all in the next video. I hope you all have a blessed and happy sewing week and I will see you all later. Bye.